and welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Production Line. All right, so right at the tail end of last episode, I noticed this exclamation point up here. And this, uh, and more hours of running, getting enough customers. Yeah, we'll, we'll work on that. We're, we're working on that. Research right now is working on marketing. But right now, I'm going to pause it again. Uh, right now, it seems that somebody, so many people have researched central locking that's become a standard feature. So we have to now include it in all of these. Off-road, this one is, um, uh, that is a very boxy looking car. But anyway, uh, we're not making any of these right now, so I'm not going to worry too much about them. And I don't know, I don't know what the market looks like as far as off-road goes. Yeah, not, not a whole lot of demand for, for said off-road vehicles. Um, so let's see. Expensive SUVs got a few. Um, sedan, compact, market analysis. I think the way that I want to read this <clears throat> is the the from the from the from the center here to the outside, that's that represents the total customers per hour. The darkened area is how many we produce per hour. That's how I read this. So we have a lot more potential for compact budget vehicles. Uh, so the bread box, what is our current price point? Yeah, we are not producing a whole lot of bread boxes. You can see there's there's a lot in here. So we need uninstalled features. <clears throat> uh, we need to produce more of these. Okay, so let's go up to our scheduling. Bread box. We, we are getting eight customers an hour on Breadbox. Are you serious? Uh, market. Breadbox. It says 5.66. Um, so let's dial down Breadbox M. We have enough of those. And let's increase the number of bread boxes that we're producing. Okay. Hauler, hauler M. So our trucks, base is two and M is two. If we look at market again, uh, base is two, mid-range so we have we have some wiggle room with the mid-range pickup. We could try to bump that up. And how's our SUV? I want to do this. I want to do this all now. SUV M is roughly four. Uh, SUV and we're at five so yeah I think I think that's fine look at all the cars coming through here crazy all right we want to work on tires wheels and brakes <clears throat> now, the math I was working on last time, uh, brakes, we need four every two minutes, four every two minutes, 
and let's get some extra robots for every two minutes. I think it was the tires that uh, was the biggest, the biggest, uh, biggest expense at the moment. So we're making two every nine minutes, which is one every four and a half minutes. So two of these gives you four. Let's see, two, that's one every four and a half minutes. So two of these would give you two every four and a half minutes. So we need at least four of these in order for that to work. See if I get the input and outputs. Uh, the output is the greenish hint tint. So let's just put this sort of in the middle. I can move it later. So we're gonna put this here. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna see see if these fit together. So make wheels. Okay. So make wheels is really not something that we can snake in there. This one, hmm, we could maybe sque squeeze in one of these. No, I don't really want to though. Um, really not, not any good. I mean, if we do, so again, we need at least four of these, possibly even five. So if we do one, two, three, four of these. These are brakes and they just require steel. Export stockpile not, I, I get that. Export stockpile not connected. Uh, this one, uh, we need to move. We need to move it like over here. This is make tires. Uh, two, three, four. Uh, okay, and then these are make wheels. We need to move these. One, two, three. Now, resource conveyor. We need to link up. I thought it was shift. Is it control? Is it alt? No, I don't want to. I know there's a way to just remove. Why doesn't that not work on the maintenance department? Uh, okay, so those did not hook up anything. There we go. How about that? Now all of these. Um, resource conveyor, I want these to not be connected. Well, I guess it can't really Can't really do anything about it now. 
is I need to connect these up. So I want tires, import only local, wheels, import only local, brakes, import on the brake only, only local. There's a lot of steel going through here. But we're making two tires for every rubber, right? So if we look at our prices, uh, rubber is $124, tires are $300, and we're getting two. So it's literally like $62 per tire, which is a fifth of what we were paying. So a little bit of that um, upfront capital to, to build the things, but in the end, much, much higher savings. All right. So that should, I mean, that should make a pretty big difference. Oh, what, what do we need now? Power steering is now common. Oh, off-road, I'm, I'm fine with. We're not making those yet. Okay, I could probably get rid of a couple seats here. Because we're still not using, even, even with two lines here, we're still not using. Although we're not, we're not really capping the lines right now. Not by a long shot. Uh, what, are, what are you yelling at me about? Car models Aurora is too cheap. Really? See, we are making money on these. I mean, not so much on the bread box, but maybe we could up that price a little bit. Okay, are we close to finishing the, what do, well, okay. I was like, what do we do now? But it's just the off-road. Might as well do that so the icon goes away. Um. Oh, finally, print marketing. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's see what the market is. And, you know, five, two, five. The, the real one is the sedan. Five, that's a, even five uh, customers per hour. And brand awareness is 0%. Okay, so let's see. Media awareness. Holy moly. $400,000. Brand awareness campaign. I don't think a large number of customers are being sure I'm considering purchasing cards regardless of model. Let's launch it since we have to do it anyway. Effectiveness, 30.98%. I don't know how that affects anything, but let's see uh, on market. Brand awareness, I like that. Ooh, look at the, look at the sedan, 6.3. So we're getting 1.3 extra customers there. Ooh, look at the compact, 7.13. That's definitely... A good, a good thing that I up my compact throughput. It's just gonna take, it's just gonna take a hot minute for it to actually come through. Um, I have so many breadbox M's in here. Fifty-one breadbox M's. I might need to. Uh, da, da, da. Let's uh, cut those down a little bit. 
Yeah, so you point two sales an hour. Uh, we we need to we need to sell those through. Uh, what does our what does our market show us? Five point five customers per hour. Um. So how are we doing here? Stop pausing when I open this menu. Brand awareness, good. Extra revenue. So I'm, I'm hoping the extra revenue is more than the cost of the campaign itself. I'm not seeing anything change in here. Is this gonna, let's hope that we're actually gonna get a jump start. Seventy cars in the showroom. We we really started pushing the cars through, and that's nothing compared to when we when we get this next line here done. It's gonna be it's gonna be pretty crazy. What was that? I I didn't click on that. All right, brakes are backed up. Tires not so much. Wheels are way backed up. I'm hoping that we're not importing those anymore. I think we are. Why are we brakes only local? Oh, they have to go around. That's deceiving. Okay, I understand. We need we need more brakes. Is there a way to? Early stock consumption. I'm not sure what that is. It sounds like something that I could use, though. It's almost like it it asks for the stock ahead of time. There's just a constant flow of tires and brakes and... All that stuff over here. Oh, we're a mid-range SUV market. All right, let's see how the print is going. Two hundred and four thousand. Okay, one thing I would like to do, paint undercoat. One area that we could save, I'm going to, let's assume that we're gonna have another line going through here, right? So I'm gonna take this away. And I'm gonna do the paint undercoat, which is way up here. I'm gonna do it down here. So let's get, uh, let's see, paint, paint undercoat. And we're gonna do one here and one here. Okay, no route to stockpile, obviously. Connect those up. Now, I have to wait until the last car is out of here because I can't have this here. Um, there it goes. And then we're going to close you off. Um, so let's take you... Okay, so dry, dry undercoat. 
This is something I would like to move to here. Let's uh, demolish. Get out of here. We're going to take you guys out. Uh, paint, dry undercoat. We're going to have lots of cars coming through here. So I want to... Something like that. Okay, now... How about that? <clears throat> Little bit of drying going on here. Now, dry, faster drying, yes, upgrade them all. So just to prep for more production, right? That's the name of the game. Just ramping up production everywhere you go. So this we can we can beef this out here a little bit. Well, we need this space in here for extra accessories and engine stuff. And making engines again is oh, it's so complex. It is so complex. Okay, so now it's too expensive. Okay, well, red box M. Uh, how is our marketing going? Almost made our money back. All of the drying. You know, eventually we could have parts of our factory dedicated to specific types, you know, specific builds. Like we could have this part dedicated to the chassis and the body and have a whole bunch of chassis and body um, crafting stations over here to save us a little bit of money. Um, and then we could move it down, you know, we could move the cars into here, let's say, and this could be the paint. And just do all of the paint all through here, coming around here, come around this corner. Then we could do, you know, other things. So we could grow this factory or we could, you know, use this as maybe electric vehicles or something like that. Because we're going to quickly run out of room for, you know, crafting purposes. Because these, these take up a lot of space. And why are we pulling paint from way over here when way over here makes way more sense? You know what I want to do? I want to use this one instead. So let's get those done there. And I would like to conveyor. Because this one is just feeding these like two. There we go. Uh, okay. Off. What? What now? Heater. Really not a fan of that AI. And the only way to turn that off is to disable financial stuff altogether. And I, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted 
the, a the AI to calm down a bit. So marketing, can't imagine how much the, oh man, 600,000. Okay, so just about made our money back. I'm not sure how it tracks extra revenue. I mean, I'm at 1.5 million already. So I have sold a lot of cars. Which is really good thing. Uh, let's look at market. So these numbers haven't really changed. Huge demand for budget compacts. Uh, so the expensive models, I think, uh, SUV expensive and sedan expensive. Those are two that I could jump on for expensives. Because there's enough, I think there's enough demand there for uh, for some uh, wiggle room on price and uh, potential potential income. Oh, what, what is he? What is he? What is he yelling at me about? Hey, we've we've actually sold. An impressive number of cars, Mr. CEO, Mr. Nameless CEO. Like, we are really pushing out a lot of vehicles. It's impressive. Keyless entry. Okay, now... Not quite ready to put that second line in yet. Whoa. There's make exhaust. Uh, what is the price on exhaust? Uh, 573. Uh, so we could, and I think it only uses one. I mean, that's... Uh, obvious upgrades so the exhaust to make that one every two and a half minutes or so that's an 11 minute craft and look at the power demand 295 power for that and that's 11 minutes long which tells me if that is 2 minutes 46 seconds I've already got the robots on it so now what I've got brand awareness though that's that's what's really helping me competitiveness customer position per hour 81 market analysis Produced per hour. Why is this produced per hour zero? There is no way that I'm producing zero per hour. Okay, what's the next one on your on your style list here? SUV M. Yeah, I, I know I'm producing more, more than zero. How did I get these numbers so? Oh, I, I guess these are not these are not running like full blast. So there's that's your little leeway here. brakes we're really pushing out the brakes now mid-range SUV well, we've got plenty of those being made so let's do if I remember right um, sedan and SUV on the expensive line 
So if we go to models, go to Aurora M, we do create similar model, not Aurora M copy. That's definitely not what we're going for. This is going to be the Aurora E, which is the expensive version. Uh, windscreen, honest, your headlights, car alarm, um, leather interior, powered steering. Uh, sunroof yep and I want a few more options cruise control car alarm yeah see a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of options here uh, and then the SUV I want to create similar model SUV E is going to be in the expensive range. We need we need way more way more options in order to demand that that level of monies from these. Uh, you know, some of these are universal. We need more very rare options, but you can see the the price, the gross profit on these, if we're able to sell them. I don't know what archive this model. This hides it from the view in the list. This design is no longer being produced. Last design in each body style cannot be deleted. Okay. So we're not producing those yet. We need to hammer out a bunch more options. Let's look at our, <clears throat> what are we researching now? Radiator manufacturer. Now we need, we need to go to technologies. Uh, we need anti-lock brakes. Uh, these, these, obviously airbags, spare wheel, uh, lane departure warnings. These are all very expensive to research, right? Adaptive cruise control. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, climate control, uh, heated, panoramic sunroof, that might be something that we can do. These are, these are already there. Folding wing mirrors, let's put those on the list. Because remember, there's also a luxury level that we could go to. I would love to do the fast engine. Like a, a higher performance engine. Put that on last. That's a lot of stuff to research. That's, oh, that is so much to research. Um, I would love... To maybe add one more research da, da, da. research office research center uh, how is our how is this doing oh yeah we made our money back I'm not, I'm not sure yeah progress okay so we're still we're still pushing out pretty good look at our perceived quality is really good at the moment um, so now <clears throat> now our research I mean 20 points per minute you can see how fast the minutes go by like 20 points per minute going by we should be able to hammer out quite a lot of these things Fix those defects. Fix them. Ooh. All right. Fixed them. Nice. Wow, look at them all. They're just coming through with defects right and left. 
Windscreen wipers, huh? Universal. So every time another company researches it, it, it slowly gets more and more common. What I could do is on the Breadbox M, add automatic wipers and power steering adjustment. Add a few more technologies onto those, make them a little bit more attractive. Same with the SUV, automatic wipers and Uh, I've already got all of that. Might as well put auto steer headlights because we're gonna we're gonna be punching out quite a lot of new. So Aurora M. We're gonna have a lot of options soon. All right, well, that is going to have to do it for this episode, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.